thing about Birmingham is a, is the fact that people feel that there aren't any opportunities. And the problem isn't that there aren't any opportunities. It's the fact that opportunities aren't really being presented out there or aren't being pushed as much. Growing up here from being based in Birmingham and having my first opportunities in the industry here in Birmingham, it's close to my heart. Birmingham has quite a lot to offer. I mean, there's things like Facebook Studios, um, there's Yamination as well, which do animation. So there's a lot of variety, but it's where you, you have to know where to find it. Um, stuff's happening all over the country. Um, so I, I, again, don't sort of think, well, I'll, I'll wait, you know, I'll wait until I can afford to live in London and then I'll get involved in making films. That's totally not. My name is Idris, I'm a local filmmaker and, and photographer. I was born in France and then um, when I was nine I moved to Birmingham and then from there I just, um, yeah, I just kind of grew up in Birmingham since then. Um, what really inspired me to, to go into film was the fact that I did a project um, about five, six years ago where I got to um, meet and talk to professionals like filmmakers that have done it in the business and have actually become successful and I got to kind of sh shadow them and work with them as well and that really inspired me to really go into film and to um, study it and to find a career with it. My name is Michael Price and I'm a sculptor and model maker in the animation industry. So I started out doing law at the University of Birmingham really quickly decided that I absolutely hated it and uh, I dropped out to do something that I enjoyed doing, which was animation and model making. Since then I moved to BCU to do animation, specialised in stop motion and started doing model making professionally and it's wonderful, I couldn't think of a better career. So I started, uh, I guess in year nine, it was just before GCSEs and I thought I'm quite interested in photography and um, things like that and I was about to pick my GCSEs and when I decided that I wanted to do photography um, the course was already full so I went sort of after school all the time and um, I taught myself how to use a camera and then um, the photography teacher a couple of times stayed back after school to teach me things like Photoshop and um, Premiere Pro and stuff like that um, and then I decided that I wanted to go to Birmingham Wormiston Academy after that so um, went there and studied broadcasting media and then about three months after I left there, I broke my back um, in a skiing accident. So I spent about a year out um, recovering from the break, obviously. And then um, I decided that instead of going to uni, because obviously I'd, while I was recovering, it was when people had done their first year and stuff, I thought, well, what can I do with my time? So I spent a while working on my edits and stuff like that, and then thought, I might as well just start my own company. I've made a bunch of sort of feature length films over the last six years. Uh, I made a feature film in New Zealand called The Insatiable Moon, uh, which I co-produced with the uh, producer of The Lord of the Rings. And that was a, an amazing experience, a learning experience doing that. It took a long time to get that film off the ground, but it was incredibly satisfying to see it made uh, and win some awards and, you know, go around the world. I've made a bunch of feature documentaries since then. Um, this is all under the company Blue Hippo Media. But alongside that, I've also kept the, the charity going and working with young people and I've also been involved in an organisation called the Producers Forum, which is an organisation that tries to network and enable filmmakers here in Birmingham and the region um, to be able to you know, meet one another, to make films together, to get advice and training on, on developing their careers. I moved to Birmingham for 12 months about 30 years ago. And I came here because um, there was a really good company, creative company here, and I managed to get a 12 month job. And I thought, yeah, I'll do that, and maybe I might go to Manchester actually, maybe I might go to, to, to London. And then when I found in Birmingham, it's a real place where actually you can make things happen. It's a big, big enough city, but actually it's small enough that you get to know people, you get to know the companies, um, and if you want something to be produced, you can find the right people. So yeah, 12 months and I'm still here 30 years and haven't got any plans to leave at the moment. I don't, per I don't personally believe you need to live in places like London. Personally, I don't like working in London. I don't like 
being based in London just for work, purely because the uh, the way the uh, the way the work ethic is is really different to Birmingham. Is it a hindrance that I'm in Birmingham and not in London? Um, not at all. You know, you can get to London really easily. Um, London, yes, is a hub. There's a lot more activity down there. A lot of the bigger companies are based there. So I, I again, don't sort of think, well, I'll, I'll wait, you know, I'll wait until I can afford to live in London and then I'll get involved in making films. So, totally not. Start where you are now. You're going to find other people or they might just be, you know, one city further away than where you are at the moment. But, you know, you don't need to kind of move to London. You don't need to move to Hollywood. You know, you, you can start where you are and you may well find that that's where you'll be, you know, forever and it works really well for you. I mean, it has quite a lot to offer. I mean, there's things like Faisley Studios, um, there's Yamination as well, which do animation. So there's a lot of variety, but it's where you, you have to know where to find it. I think that a lot of the stuff that I find here with filming and with photography is there are lots of little gems inside the city. Um, so nice places like parks and um, botanical gardens and stuff like that, which I think a lot of people don't appreciate and they don't know where they are. Very much from growing up here, from being based in Birmingham and having my first opportunities in the industry here in Birmingham, it's close to my heart. Especially seeing a company like Yama Nation that is trying to build and trying to be something bigger. I think to be a part of that and to try and help grow the industry here is, is really something special. The thing about Birmingham is, a, is the fact that people feel that there aren't any opportunities. And the problem isn't that there aren't any opportunities, it's the fact that opportunities aren't really being presented out there or aren't being pushed as much. When I get um, hired for something, I get recommended by someone, or uh, a past client comes to me um, saying, oh, are you available for this job? And I've had that many times, so I don't, have, I don't actually have to go out looking for jobs I get recommended and that's just by building relationships. If you can actually really work the networks, get to know people, contact people, go to events and make yourself available. Sometimes that does involve um, doing some voluntary work, doing intern work, just to kind of get, get started. For next year I'm potentially, uh, I'll potentially be um, in Africa, um, shooting a documentary with um, a couple, with uh, with another um, filmmaker, well, another two filmmakers that I know personally, and I'm just planning to shoot as many shorts as I can. In terms of projects that I'm working on at the moment, I've got quite a lot going on because I'm starting up my business, so I'm working on partnerships with companies, um, and then I've obviously got little projects going on with myself and clients, things like today with um, pet photo shoots. So my advice to people staying in Birmingham and trying to um, uh, gay, gain a career with filming in Birmingham, I would say to them, for one, uh, again, keep shooting, like never stop shooting. Two, uh, build your relationships with the people, with as many people. Um, like one thing I do, um, one advice I do say to people is networking is a powerful tool. Like it's the best thing you can ever do. If you network with people, it will guarantee you uh, partnerships and that can lead to some amazing things or maybe not amazing things. Um, and thirdly, collaborations. Um, so three tips that I'd give to people just starting out or um, trying to work their way into the media industry is stick at it because a lot of people will tell you that it'll take forever and it will. Number two, don't let somebody tell you that you can't do something. If you're determined enough, you'll be able to do it eventually. And number three is have fun. Um, if you don't enjoy it, then it's probably not what you want to be doing in life. <laughs>